Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this new tutorial. Today we will make these animations with uh, the effector tool and uh, Duik Basel. So uh, let's get started. In this tutorial we will be using a free plugin called Duik Basel. You can download it for free from uh, Rainbox. It's used uh, for uh, character animation but you can do a lot more with it. Let's start with uh, the hand effect, which is uh, this one. So uh, I imported uh, the hand, it's uh, two layers, the hand and the arm. So uh, first of all, I will uh, select the hand and uh, parent it to the arm. Be sure to uh, change the anchor point here, because if you want to rotate it, needs to be like this and then I will change the anchor point here let's rename them this one is the hand and this layer is the arm okay now select the arm and uh, hit S to reveal the scale go to something like one second and uh, click on the subwatch go to the beginning and uh, set it to zero now we have this one hit F9 now I will add uh, some movement to the hand hit R and then uh, click on the support I will move it like this and then something like this just make some uh, random uh, rotations and then I will drag the keyframes here so now we have uh, this hand okay let's move the keyframes Let's select all the keyframes and then easy is them. Now select both layers and then uh, hit Ctrl D to duplicate them. Then move it this side, Ctrl D, move it here, Ctrl D, move it here. That's it. Now we have these hands. I will duplicate them to the other side. I will uh, create new null object, select all the uh, layers and then Ctrl D, now drag them to the upper side and right click here and choose another color, select the layers uh, who set to none, not the, uh, not the uh, parented and then pick and uh, click here, now hit the S and then open the uh, constraint proportions and then set this one to minus 100 you will get them in the other side okay so now this is what we have so what I will do you can delete this null object uh, select all layer with ctrl A and then hit U now click and drag to the bottom and uh, select all the uh, properties that we uh, did now go to the doik basel and click on the automation and then go to effector what doik does he make new effector layer this is the guide layer uh, it actually frees all the keyframes he frees all the animation but when you hover the uh, the guide layer to that point it will uh, make them move so let's go to the effector and hit P now uh, click on the stopwatch to animate the position and I will make some uh, random movement like this okay and now if we play it it will be something like this 
Let's play with the settings. If we go to effect, you will have the inner limit. Okay. And you have the outer limit. It's similar to the MoGraph uh, in Cinema 4D, the MoGraph effector. What we have else, we also have the mod. You can set it to infinite line. And uh, this time you can make something like transition like this. Or you can keep it uh, to circle. Also, you can change the interpolation to reverse, which give you the reverse uh, thing. And you have transition type or ping pong. And uh, what ping pong uh, does, it make this cool effect. Okay, so let's move on to uh, another thing. What we have else? We have the flowers. I will uh, make new composition. Click on the ellipse tool. I will make this one. And then I will uh, set the anchor point to the center. Now I will add a repeater. Open the repeater and uh, open the transform. Repeater 1 and then set the position to 0. Uh, set the copy to 12 and the rotation to 17. Now I will add circle here and I will choose another color. Let's put them and align them to the center. And then this one you need to change the anchor point to the center of course. I will make them smaller. Click on the bottom layer, hit S to reveal the scale mode. And then I will make a keyframe here. Let's set it to something like this. And then let's make it to 56. Okay, now I will duplicate this. Uh, maybe we can add a rotation. Hit R to reveal the rotation. Make a keyframe here. And then make minus 90. And this is what we have. And then I will hit U. Make easy ease. F9. Keyframe assistant easy ease. And then select both layer and control D make a copy here and then control D I will make another copy again select all layer I hit you and then select all the properties and then click on the effector and uh, we have our and this is working now if you want to animate it just uh, hit P here and uh, Click on the stopwatch and then move the effector to this point and you get this effect. Of course you can always uh, play with the settings here and uh, change them to whatever you want. Now let's uh, move to something else. We have the dots here. Let's make a new composition. I will draw a circle here. I will turn the anchor point to the center. And then hit S on the keyboard and then make a keyframe here. Then go to the beginning and set it to zero. We have this uh, simple effect. I will move the keyframe to something to make it faster. And I will set it to F9 is is okay so now just uh, simply uh, duplicate this uh, layer control D can select them uh, like this and uh, duplicate the layer and I will make duplication like this That's it. Um, whatever you want to make, 
you can make like uh, smaller dots but uh, it will uh, slow your machine for sure so uh, it's better to make it set it to quarter not to full to play it faster so now i will hit ctrl a and then hit u now again you will need to select all the uh, properties and then just hit the effector and now we have uh, our effect uh, ready this time we will not play with um, the position uh, manually I will add an expression so hit P here and then uh, with the alt key pressed click on the stopwatch here and uh, write wiggle and uh, between parentheses we will add the frequency is uh, the speed and uh, how much we want the uh, the effect to move so something like 400 and uh, let's see our result okay so so this is now what we have maybe i make it 800 of course the um, preview will be very slow because we have a lot of layers but uh, this is what we will have you can play also with the settings here and uh, let's make it to something like ping pong and uh, we can have a lot of things so play with the settings and choose uh, the best effect that uh, switch you okay also you can change the inner limit and uh, the outer limit maybe if you want to uh, have um, more effect you can also um, animate those so if I go to the beginning and I set the click on the stopwatch here and then the, and, and, and and then I will go to the to second for example and I will make it like this and uh, of course it will be animated what we have else um, here also it's the same thing the same technique you can uh, try to experiment with uh, this effect I did uh, a simple start and I make uh, I made two keyframes and uh, I changed some settings here change the color and uh, again duplicate them and uh, I got this uh, effect I hope this tutorial was useful for you please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, please add your comments and uh, and uh, see you in another tutorial thank you so much